is with Tatiana now. Um, yes, going yes, to get yes. out of, of the course. hospital. Yes, out of the hospital. Today, it's the, our... Today is 11th of September. Yeah, 11th we're, of September. We're trying to go out. You and Vara are better. But yeah, you need to I, I get feel stronger. better. Yes, uh, yes, of course, of you course. Need, you need a lot of work to get stronger. Too. Yeah. And uh, from Monday, I think I will continue my protest in front of the UNHCR's office. Um, I will be, I've been waiting for Tatiana since noon. She had some other stuff came up. And uh, that would be it. We look forward to your kind solidarity and support in whatever way is possible. This situation hasn't over. We are still waiting for a solution from UNHCR. My resettlement, readmission in another country. Take care for now. Bye. Bye. Hello to you all. This is Nick Ferry, Astrid of Europe. Today is a Friday, September 11, 2020. I'm still in this hospital and it's been uh, eight days that I've been hospitalized here which came after conducting 33 days of hunger strike at the doorsteps of the office of the United Nations Refugee Agency. So far, uh, according to what I have been told and according to the tests being conducted, all, uh, I'm in a good health condition. All the tests show good results except that I have some stones <clears throat> in my gallbladder. The specialist uh, uh, said I might need an operation. The doctors here say uh, I might not need it. I need to first try it. Uh, a treatment with drinking a lot of liquid, water, etc., and a specific diet that they are going to prescribe for me. And if uh, I had pain again in my belly, in my stomach, uh, and uh, the stomach is still there, according to what I have been informed just now. Uh, they are ready to admit me again to the hospital in order to conduct an operation for me. Uh, I'm waiting still to be to be conducted, contacted and informed by the doctors here whether I'm going to be released today or not. But from what it looks like, the con communications has been made through Miss Elizabeth. And Tatiana, it looks like they are going to release me today. They haven't told me anything so far. And um, I will uh, certainly return, return to my protest site at the doorsteps of the Office of the United Nations Refugee Agency. Even if not today, from next Monday in three days. And we will continue my protest, maybe not hunger strike, and uh, await a response to my ongoing situation and my prolonged imprisonment in Greece. So if somebody from the doctors or the nurses came uh, and informed me about my release, I will also let you know this is for now. Take care and uh, we'll talk to you soon.
Friday, September 11, 2020. Uh, today I will be discharged from the, the hospital after being hospitalized here for <coughs> eight days for the stones in my <coughs> gallbladder. They said, uh, and they are. They will arrange for an operation to take place as soon as this spots become available they took my phone number and they said they are going to call me back currently I'm waiting for Tatiana to arrive and pick me up and as I said earlier um, from Monday I will continue my protest at the doorsteps of the office of the United Nations Refugee Agency until a durable and sustainable solution becomes available for my case, which is uh, my resettlement readmission in another country outside of the European Union. So if Tatiana arrived, I will also record this, how this is going to happen, the whole things. They gave me some documents for my discharge. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't include the pictures from the ultrasound which they made for my uh, abdomen and uh, found the stones in my gallbladder. Uh, I don't know, they said they're gonna need those pictures for the surgery department and if I needed those pictures, I had to apply in the secretariat. So I don't know what is going to happen, if I will get those photos or not, but I took photos with my phone. And uh, yeah, I will be waiting for Tatiana. And uh, that's it.
and look forward to your solidarity and support in whatever way is possible. Please help. Thank you. I am still waiting for Tatiana to get here. Obviously, she is late, pretty much late. I don't know what's up with her. I sent her a few messages from Arbor, no answer yet. So, although Miss Elizabeth says she is going to be here, I didn't specify any time. So, still waiting for Tatiana to get here and get my discharge papers from the hospital and, uh, you know, leave. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry. I've it's been okay, don't worry. running like a clown, you know. And then I'm here. I'm with Tatiana now. I'm yes, going yes, to get yes. out of, of the course. hospital. Yes, out of the hospital. Today, it's sad. Today is 11th of September. Yeah, 11th we're, of September. We're trying to go out. You and Vara are better. Yeah, you I, need to I get feel stronger. better. Yes, uh, yes, of course, of you course. Need, you need a lot of work to get stronger. Yeah. yeah. And uh, from Monday, I think I will continue my protest in front of the UNHCR's office. Um, I will be, I've been waiting for Tatiana since noon. She had some other stuff came up. And uh, that would be it. We look forward to your kind solidarity and support in whatever way is possible. This situation hasn't over. We are still waiting for a solution from UNHCR my resettlement readmission in another country. Take care for now. Bye. 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 That's the hospital. See Mr. Tatiana is trying to get the car ready. We also took some pictures with the doctors. Usually they don't allow it. But now they made an exception and we took this. One except with the doctors too. To keep us in memory. from the hospital and uh, Miss Tatiana came and picked me up from the hospital and we came to this place it's a hostel which is being paid for, for until Monday and I will be staying here till Monday on Monday uh, Miss Elizabeth and Miss Tatiana paid for this place Many thanks to them. Uh, as soon as I have, I get money. I will have to, you know, sort this out. All the money they have spent so far. And um, because I'm completely drained, obviously they kept me hostage in this country for six years, drained all my reserves, resources, deprived of everything. Uh, yes, on Monday I will be. Continuing my protest in front of the UNHCR's office will be placing another shelter there Because obviously for as long as I'm here This was the reason for my protest at the first place And for as long as my my situation remains unresolved My protest will and should go on in front of the UNHCR's office so far, unfortunately, they haven't even made a statement about my case. 
They haven't, they haven't answered my emails or my phone calls, nothing. Um, and if they destroyed my shelter on one day, I will place another one. And if they did it again, I will do it another, I will place another one. And if they continue to do so, I will again find no other way but to declare another hunger strike, which you're gonna obviously know um, about the ultimate evil policy of in this uh, organization and this country who have no intention other than uh, hurting refugees, killing refugees as much as they can. And uh, the other reason I have to place another shelter there is, as I, you might be aware, I'm also undocumented for all 30 months. I will not be able to get any place anywhere and uh, have no access basically to nothing so that's that would be the only possible solution for me at the moment until i get out of this country and i will find some other country that would be willing to grant me asylum protection or help for my settlement in their country so I'm going to show you around over here a bit and uh, this would be, would be it for this video and I look forward to your solidarity and support in whatever way is possible. Please donate to our cause, share, comment, uh, tell the press, tell the media, whatever you can. You can find the donation button, uh, donation link in the comment section of this post or the description box if you are watching this on YouTube. And uh, that's it. Take care. Uh, bye.